Hi everyone, I'm Holly with Missouri River Soap and let's pack some orders. I decided to come over to my regular workspace and see if I can get a packing uh, video done over here. So this is this kind of impromptu, um, random, extra special. Uh, it's not something that I'm going to be able to do a lot. Um, I kind of set aside times for packing videos. I wanted to give this a try and see if I could manage this over here. So something to keep in mind, I don't have studio lights over here and I don't have any to move over here. So we'll just see how it goes. So this order is going to California and I got a note that said, first time purchasing and beyond excited. Love, love, love watching your packing orders on YouTube and obsessed with supporting small businesses. Hope you have a blessed day. And I want to say thank you so very much. A love note. Love, love, love the notes. So, I have my soaps here that we're sending off. I'm going to use the 753 box. And I'm just going to use my stretchy paper here. And I'm going to put in the blue paper. Now, I do use some of the uh, craft tissue in there as well so I don't always have this prep so this is regular order packaging for me I'm not fully prepped I just come up here and do what I can that's pretty good okay so we're gonna put in a figgy cream soap and a wild elderberry and we have a honey apricot soap. So I've discovered something that I'm not very pleased with. Well, I didn't just discover it. It's, it's been a thing for a while. But the Canon M50, which is what I use to video, um, it has a flip screen so I can see it and that's all super duper. But that's where the external microphone plug goes and so if you are behind the camera, you're getting it all set up, you know, you're looking at it, you're getting level and all that. So now you need to flip this monitor so you can see it from the front. Well, now the plug is out of sorts. And in the process of trying to get the screen flipped, get it, the microphone plugged back in, it can change the position just a little bit. And then I'm back to square one. I can't get to it. I can't because I can't reach the camera for, from here. It's quite a long ways away. So anyway, mild little complaint there. So it would definitely would have made a lot more sense on this camera for the external mic to be somewhere else so that the screen could flip and be rotated without plugging and unplugging and the same with the memory card and the battery they're on the bottom so when the camera is attached to the tripod you have to take everything all back apart <laughs> to to put in a new battery and memory card what have you okay so into this one I got the figgy cream and the wild elderberry and the honey apricot and I'm gonna write my little thank you Thank you. Check check the name. Christy. Thank you, Christy. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get this folded up. Now I do need to um, pick out the samples. So I have those back here. So a good one to go into this one would be the lemon, a luscious lemon. So that's what we're going to put in. And this is a real chunky sample. I'm going to put that in there. And normally I would write down the samples, but I'm, I'm keeping track of it via the video this time. I'll get everybody folded up. And put on the sticker. So I have several orders pulled back for this video today, and I may end up splitting it up into two. I don't know. You guys love these videos so much that that would probably work out just fine. 
Turn on my scale so it's ready for me. Oh, my scale is right here. I guess you kind of can see it. This one is almost 30 ounces. So I'm going to scroll down. I have my computer over here. My pirate ship app is open. Let's find Christy. There's Christy. I usually go in order, but these were just a little bit out of order this time. So I have my saved packages. I'm going to do a 753. And this one is a little over 25 ounces, so I'll probably bump it to 30. It's still in the same. And get my rates. And buy the label. And print the label. And I have a little Dymo printer over here. And so it's just going to kick this out right here. I'm not going to show you putting the label on because I'm not going to show you anybody's addresses, but I'll be back for the next one. Alright, so here's my next one. I have another lovely message. I always welcome these messages and I always welcome requests. If you have a request for a sample, I will always try to put it in if I have it. Um, you can request to be on video. That's cool. Just keep in mind that I actually usually only do videos once, you know, a release period. And so I usually block off a few hours, just one time a month to do them. So this is special. Um, so if I'm having a release, that's usually the best time to ask me for that. So this lovely person said that they've been watching my videos for a very long time. Love watching the packing videos. Um, typically order from Royalty Soaps and Katie, but ordering from me. So thanks a bunch. She says that... Crafters have to stick together, especially as soapers. So we have to stick together and feel free to video her order. And love from Texas. So love back to Texas. Thank you so much for your order today. So we have an oatmeal milk bath and a smitten soap. We have a luscious lemon wax melt clam shell. We have a OMH, Oatmeal Milk and Honey Unscented Soap. And I have something in this container that doesn't need to be in there. Set that aside. Um, goes into a different, obviously goes into a different order. Okay, so, okay. We're gonna check that off. So into this one, looks like I'm gonna need a 963. So this is a 963 from Uline. And be sure to check out the video description and see all the information down below about where I get things. To go ahead and fold up some of my blue papers. This one is wrinkly. I ended up buying it from Amazon and it was like a tri-fold so it's a little wrinkly and then these generally come pretty flat the whole bunch of papers so like I ordered this from like Paper Mart or Uline or something so it usually comes in just a little bit different than that. So we're going to put in the bath salts. Now these are sold out, but I do plan on getting those remain. I'm just waiting on supplies to come in. The thing about prepping for a release, you know, I spend a, quite a bit of time getting ready for the release. And then, um, you know, I have the release and, and orders, you know, trickle throughout the weeks. And then all of a sudden it sells out but I'm busy prepping for something else already. So it's kind of hard to gauge, especially on a new product, how it's going to sell and how soon I need to get things remade. But I'm gonna to try to do a little bit better with that this year. But so far, we're not off to the most amazing start on that. I have so many different products that we're always moving around. It's kind of 
impossible really to keep it all in stock all the time so I just keep things in rotation a lot but I try to bring things back that you guys all love I find we have a lot of supplier restrictions it's like usually when you find something that you really like you go to order it and then you can't get it for some weird reason all right so into this one I'm going to pop in a little wax melt and that let's cuddle scent it's almost gone now and then a figgy cream soap sample I'll put in the invoice and my business card that's good enough get my little sticker on there I haven't actually ordered these yet because I always forget the sheer amount of items that have to be ordered from one thing to the next okay this one ended up being approximately 35 ounces so back to the main screen and it's the first one on here so I'm going to my saved packages I'm going to do a 963 and get my rates and as I've mentioned before I do have a little bit of an upcharge on the shipping to just help cover all the supplies by using my own box I can um, ship for a little less expensive but of course the box costs too so Try not to use a lot of extra packaging if we can avoid that. Buy the label. Print the label. This is always so you hit print label and then you have to hit the print button and then it pops open another window and then you have to hit that print button. So I'm gonna slap this label on and move on. All right, so I'm looking at this one and there's quite a bit of soap here. And then we have these wax melts, which are a little bit bulky. And then a donut melt, plus this room and linen spray, which is one that I need to put the label on. So I make up my sprays, and I just use an imp, uh, you know, glove here. That kind of makes sure everything is nice and tight. And then I'll get those. Get that little guy kind of balanced where I want it. And try to make it make sure it's somewhat straight here. And just roll this label on. So I do always like to put the room sprays in something that will protect it if it decides to leak. So I just have these little poly baggies. And then I keep a little dude out of twisty ties right here. And that just helps protect it because this is all paper and everything. And if this leaks, what a mess. So for this order, I'm going to go ahead and use the mailing box from the post office. These are, are available free of charge. Um, it just takes a while. I order online. It sometimes will take two to three weeks to get them. This one is a 725-725-65. Um, They don't always fold appropriately though in some places. That one just look at that. Do you see how it's how it's like wrinkly? Okay, so we usually keep just I have another little table. I work all over the place, guys. I have another one of these tables with a, like a quilter's cutting mat and my big roll of the green wrap, and then I store like my bath bomb machine and stuff underneath on the shelf. So it's always, every space is always used up around here. But we keep a bunch of these. We actually use a, you know, like a quilter's fabric rotary cutter. And we just use that to slice up the, the papers. 
So this one is going this away. I use 20 by 30 sheets of paper and I do a trifold and it fits just perfect. All right, so here's our box, we're ready to go. So we're putting in a graceful soap and an Oh Sweet Baby Soap. Smells so good. And we have a 1900 Magnolia Sea Salt Soap. I did sell out of mango milk and um, I think oatmeal milk and honey salt soap sold out. I'm going to be remaking all those just as quickly as I can. We have luscious lemon and strawberry champagne. Oh, it smells amazing. It smells so good. And I usually have that in a wax, the strawberry champagne. I usually have that in a wax melt, but I am waiting on supplies. Story of our lives. So a little piece of, um, I just have this Eco Craft, and it's just, they're just pickup sheets, like, you know, if you were to go get a pastry or something from the grocery store. And so we have the Luscious Lemon, Room and Linen Spray. Let's see where, will you fit there? Let's put, let's put you there for now. We have Confetti Cake Marshmallow Wax Melt Macarons, and this is one of those things that I want to get remade as quickly as possible if I didn't have to wait for supplies, but those went over pretty well. So, And then we have the Unicorn Sweet Treats, which I think is also sold out at this point. Again, so many things on the remake list. And the Blueberry Donuts, I do still have those. Okay, looks like I need to give, I don't worry about covering the salt soap up because it's just a super hard um, salt soap and it fills the box up really well. Alright, so plenty of shred and then we'll just kind of nuzzle him down in there. So for this one, I'm going to put in a Cinnamon Candies Wax Melt in a geometric heart shape with some fun red glitter and a Brambleberry sample. It's a heart shaped. What had happened? Um, that's a soap. Let me, let me do this invoice real quick. Anyway, so my story was what had happened with the Brambleberry heart soaps is I had I purchased some of the big heart column molds and the mini ones, and I had this plan to, um, I was going to embed a big heart and a little heart. Well, as it turns out, none of my molds would hold that big heart, so I had to do the, uh, I had it right in the first place, um, had to do the small ones only, so I ended up with like four loaves four column low things of those hearts. So I have some as samples and some just sitting there over on the side trying to decide if I should list those separately. The, they're actually, you know, like a regular thick bar. And I would be, I have pink and purple, so it'd be super cute as a set. And so I just have a whole bunch of sitting over there on my curing shelf. I have to decide what I'm gonna, what am I gonna do with those? These ones are super like firm. I love these. They're just, they're very compact, very solid. And so I feel like they do really well for safety. All right, let's give this away. This one ended up being about 60 ounces. And the cubic rates vary for all over the country. What I just sent one to Alaska and last video was Hawaii. And so they get pretty expensive um, in some cases and then not quite so bad. So for me, it's just an average and I just have a base, you know, price for each range. Let's see. So I'm going to 
use the cubic setting. It's really nice. I have these all set up and so I can just leggedy split, just bump in there and get everything done. And there we go. We spent a lot of money on shipping. It's actually quite amazing how much the shipping costs in the long run. Alright, so I think this is going to be the last one for this video. Um, my last one was just super long, so I thought let's break these up just a little bit. So I'm going to just restart the old camera and start in on a second one. So I'll see you in a little bit if you feel like moving on. Thanks for watching.